What's good, Relocation Football League fans? It's your boy Smitty, and yes, back with set two of the Madden 20 RFL simulation sliders. Some guys get confused on these sliders on what they're for. This is for CPU versus CPU gameplay. There's a lot of people who actually like playing the game that way. Of course, you guys know we do, but um, it is this is not. These have only been tested tested that way. They have not been tested for user versus CPU gameplay or user versus user gameplay. So if you intend to use these sliders and they don't work, the reason why they don't work is because they weren't intended to be used in that way. I noticed some people ask me that question, but um, yeah, this is really all tested and based off of CPU versus CPU gameplay, the way these sliders gonna go. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. So I'm gonna go straight into my franchise here. Um, the main menu, you can keep that at default. You don't have to make any changes in the main menu. But as you can see, you can see we got the RFL teams almost just done uh, transferring those guys over and getting them made. But let's go ahead. Last time I forgot to show you guys the league settings, uh, but it shouldn't be too much to do here. As you can see, I'm actually changing this all pro to all man. I usually don't do that, but I found a way to have all man have some errors. And so this kind of combats the OP gameplay that you see. Sometimes you're going to see like really good teams, you know, ball out and things like that, of course. But it also makes for stiffer competition because sometimes you see too big of plays happening. And uh, I, I think on all Madden, you get the smartest AI that Madden allows you to get. Sometimes you still see, of course, those questionable things uh, and play calls and things of that nature from the game. But you won't see guys... Um, doing more questionable stuff than they were than they would be doing on all pro but i put i put it to all madden this time they, this may change on the next set and of course this this whole set might get changed up because they're going to be updating the game i'm pretty sure very soon once again and uh, i just wish they wouldn't patch the game so many times they already if you guys notice messed up the simulation because you can't even do cpu versus cpu gameplay because of the patch it took out all the jukes and all the elusive players aren't even using their elusive moves and things of that nature anymore so that is you know that's really hindered that that play and that doesn't only hurt the cpu versus cpu players i mean it hurts the guys who actually play the game against the computer who wants to have a challenge and actually feel like they're playing against elusive players such as you know quarterbacks that scramble like lamar jackson or deshaun watson those guys who got those abilities are not using those abilities and you know hopefully they bring that back within the next patch or two um but yeah that has been something that's kind of hindered the cpu versus cpu gameplay as of late just wanted to make sure i point that out to you guys so when you guys play and you see the guys aren't using their moves it's because of the patch but um yeah so i kept this on simulation all madden difficulty and looking at everything everything else pretty much to this extent i kept this of course the superstar abilities on you want those on even though like i said offensively they don't get used ever since the patch but um the rest of these oh uh, yeah i got my my uh clock management time here on the settings 15 minutes of course as usual 13 seconds for the minimum play clock time so that way you can get buy games a little bit faster and uh, you know this year madden has really cut down the the uh presentation even more in franchise so i mean 13 seconds is you know a good thing to get the, the clock running but you know they got to probably make these transitions a little bit more you know fluent because they just seem to cut off right to the next play and it's like you don't have no time to really see the emotion on the field but oh i'm going to the wrong thing right here but here we go we got the gameplay sliders right here for you guys so this is the new update what i decided to do uh, uh somebody told me said you could just leave the the player skill at default and maybe that has an effect so i did that and i realized it did work this did not affect the way cpu versus cpu gameplay works out and so i just left it there at default for the player skill and this is what we need right here the cpu skill and with this we got the quarterback accuracy at 23 uh and the reason why i did that is because on all madden what 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 i found a sweet spot for quarterbacks to not throw the ball like too bad if you get what i'm saying you're going to see some bad throws but that's a good thing you know quarterbacks do that in real life uh but i mean it, i really found a sweet spot to where guys are throwing the ball more accurately when they're open 
than you know just somebody being wide open just flat out missing the guy you know or somebody being open and they just throw the ball nowhere near him and it like turns into a pick you're still going to see that because for some reason Madden does that but uh you're going to see it way less likely and you're going to see more realistic accurate quarterbacks depending on ratings with this set at 23 so your quarterback accuracy got that set at 23 I noticed the pass rush has been a little bit weaker also a little bit from the patch and so I only turned it down a little bit I had this at 48 put it up to 49 found that to be a pretty good spot but uh, you could fluctuate between either one but 49 is a spot that I think is going to be a great uh, spot so that you could get that pass rush in there quick enough for the quarterback to try to throw the ball uh, faster and that's another reason on why the accuracy has moved up from uh, 17 or 18 from what I had in set one to 23 because raising up the accuracy actually makes the quarterback get rid of the ball faster. So um, these two is what I've changed up so far. I left the receiver catching and running back blocking both on default at 50. And I made a big mistake. Somebody talked to me about this also in the set one. I thought that turning down the fumbles would reduce the fumbles, but that is not the case. Fumbles actually are more likely to happen the lower it is. So I, you got to raise it up so that they don't fumble the football. Didn't notice that. I've been actually doing that for the past two years with these slider sets. And uh, guys have been telling me like, hey. Uh, it's actually you got to raise it up so that they don't fumble as much so I raised it up to 53 I found out to be a good spot you don't see too many fumbles but you do see them and so uh, give these a try at 53 I think that's a good spot uh, another change here you got the defensive reaction time now I didn't want to touch this too much because they already tweaked the reaction time from the update and so they, they kind of went fast they're, they're kind of reacting a bit faster than they would and so I just added a little bit to that with two here with 52 uh, for the reaction time so that that actually makes them react to you know routes after getting broken down and stuff uh, a lot faster and attacking the ball a little bit more uh interceptions i got this at 40 in um, a later set i might tune this down depending on how things go with more testing i've tested at least about 50 games so far with this so um these sliders i think should be pretty okay so a little bit of tweaks maybe later on and then again the patch like i said coming up don't know what's going to happen with that but um yeah interceptions got that at 40 so it wouldn't be too many of those and of course to go in with the pass reaction time i definitely boosted up the pass coverage because defensive zone coverage is horrible in this game and has been in madden for some years and so i really had to significantly turn this up that way uh, these guys can you know at least be in their zones a lot better and react to the ball a lot better uh, and making it at least a challenge for the CPU quarterback to try to find a, a, an open receiver and to throw in the tight windows as you see on Sundays with NFL quarterbacks you see quarterbacks sometimes yeah they got guys wide open and they hit target but most of the throws that you see them make are in small windows and that's what we want to try to accomplish here with these sliders and so from what i've seen this is a good spot to have the pass coverage at you include the pass rush with them having to get rid of the ball faster a little bit of increased accuracy you're going to see the quarterbacks take more chances down the field and throwing the ball in tight windows so this is a good spot right there tackling i boost that up to 52 because of course with the the messed up juking and nothing happening at all tackling um uh, it seems like they increased the, them breaking tackles so i boost up the tackling a little bit to 52 and this is a good spot right here so you can see guys still missing tackles but you know not as much as they were at default you had guys like breaking like almost like three tackles a play and so put that at 52 and that seemed to just about calm the the, the issue and so that's it for the cpu player skills special teams had to affect this a little bit um this may get changed as well as, as far as the field goal kicking power because it still seems like the ball dips way early when guys try to kick the field goal and so hopefully they make the field goals and, and, and things of that nature better but i boosted it up to 52 so that guys who do have those powerful legs can actually push the ball out there you see guys missing from like the 30 yard line coming up short and they have good kick power at 90 you know or higher so doesn't make any sense but putting it at 52 you get to see them drive it out there a little bit uh, further almost equivalent to their leg I might actually boost this up even higher to 55 you guys can test that out 
uh, when you try these sliders, but um, 52 is where I got it for now. I also want it to affect the accuracy of the kick, so that way guys aren't just always nailing the kicks and having it be a given. I didn't want to affect it too much, so I put it at 40, 48. Might tune this down in the next set a little bit more because, you know, guys still a little bit too accurate, but um, the only one guy's missing too many kicks at the same time. So at 48, I've noticed like when the, great, the distance gets greater, or even if they're not all too far, you see the ball not always going directly straight down the pipe, you know, uh, for those who aren't accurate. So this is a good spot that I found for the field goal accuracy. In terms of the punt power, I think the punt power is uh, as okay as it is. You know, I might turn this down. Sometimes they do boot it way too far, but I think you, most of the time it's because of the wind. But uh, one one area I had to address was the punt accuracy. So the accuracy, you know, notice guys really kicking the ball like nowhere near. Like they they like you know the guys got to pin the the other team somewhere within the twenty, and these guys kicking the ball at like they're at, in the territory of the their opponent at the forty, and they punt it out at like the thirty five, and so it's like. What kind of punt is that? You know, you, you want them to be more accurate trying to pin the teams with the football. And this is an OP where you're going to see guys getting pinned at the one or inside the five every time. But you get to see a good amount of variation on where these punts will go to, you know, help out your defense when they get out onto the field. But, uh, yeah, that's what I got so far. The injuries, I'm still kind of messing with these. You can, you can tweak the injuries to what you like, but um, I had, I've had i been testing 20 and 25, like that range. Uh, so you guys could test that. I haven't, I'm not gonna really be able to test injury sliders until I actually start to play a full season, which I'm gonna have to do that, I guess, during season five, but we'll have the official injury sliders for you guys there. But try 20 to 25, let me know how it works for you. Maybe we could come up with something before the season um, uh, happens. And then, of course, I left the fatigue and the threshold at default because I noticed affecting these actually um, does make the game play out a little weird. Sometimes the fatigue gets people off the, the field too fast or they stay on the field too long. If you increase it, the threshold, you see guys making too big of plays and just there's a, there's a lot of weird things that usually happen when you touch these. Uh, with the penalty sliders, I actually like them on default. I've been seeing a lot of different uh, calls in terms of penalty depending on you know guys who are undisciplined and things like that on the team so i actually think these are all right and you know you, you guys can adjust these to your likings as well that's these are more like the game options with the injury fatigue you know with the injuries and the uh penalties that's more like up to you guys whatever you guys want to do with that but um you can see what i have here but yeah that should do it and uh hopefully these got these work out for you guys man like i said tested about 50 games with this but that's going to do it here you guys appreciate you guys coming through it's your boy smitty rfl commissioner and play-by-play -play commentator make sure you subscribe and follow the rfl for more content man we got a lot of stuff coming your way man college football for the rfl coming soon very soon sooner than you expect but that's going to do it it's your boy smitty rfl commissioner and play-by-play -play commentator and i'm out peace